Welcome to Coach's Corner here at Gold Canyon Golf Resort. I'm Russell Herndon, PGA Certified Professional for Teaching and Coaching. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And if you like this, uh, if you like the content, hit the like button. Uh, I'll have information at the end of the video with my contact info that you can reach out to me as well. Today I want to talk to you about transition. The transition between the backswing and the downswing. That's this part between here and here, okay? It's between here and here. It's that transition that really dictates whether the ball is going straight, right, left, or what's happening. Because if we get too quick with this transition, if the transition comes up here and we start the swing, we start yanking on the swing, and we haven't really set our feet, then the golf club is gonna be open and who knows what's gonna happen. So. I think most people understand the golf sequence, uh, the sequence of the golf swing is feet, knees, hips, arms, and shoulders. In other words, we're gonna come up to the top, we're gonna set our feet, we're gonna move our knees, we're gonna move our hips, then the arms are gonna get moving, and then the shoulders follow with the, uh, with, with the arms. In other words, the shoulders don't lead the swing. If they do lead the swing, if the shoulders lead the swing, one, we have a lack of power, and we have a club face that's gonna be very hard to control. So we've got to get the transition started with our feet. Now, as you can see, I'm on a pressure mat here. And one of the things we, we try to study with pressure mats is how the feet move, okay? So I wanna show you a quick um, video here of how the feet move in a correct sequence. And it will look something like back to the right, step on the left before the golf club starts down, rotate to the heel, and then swing, all right? If we don't have sequence like that, then we're gonna have control issues where, uh, again, if, if we're really quick, that's gonna look like this, and club face is open. Whereas, if we take our time on the top up here, we set the hands, now we've got everything moving, now we're in perfect position through here to be able to release the golf club and hit a great straight, straight shot. So what I do is I want to look at um, a video of Jack Nicklaus. So you're going to see Mr. Nicklaus will lift up his left heel and then he slams the heel down before he starts the sequence down. This is a critical important uh, fact in that transition. So let's take a look at that video now. Okay, so as you saw in that video, he had a lot of body movement and he slammed the, slammed the club down. In other words, he got here, his feet are up, he slammed it down, and then the golf club came down. There was no point in time where he got here and he started swinging and then he stepped. Yet, we see that all the time on, you know, on, the, on the range um, or wherever you're gonna see people who are gonna swing here and they kind of swing together where the arms and the body move together like this, that's quick. That's way too quick. You can't control the, the, the positioning of the club because you don't have enough control. Again, I'm thinking control. What's happening up here? I want to have complete control of this golf club at the top before I step and swing. So you look at a swing like Justin Thomas um, or you know Mr. Nicholas, and again, you're going to see this nice, control pause at the top. Now it doesn't have to be a, a Hideki, you know, Matsuyama stop, pause, but you've got to have control. And if we don't have control, we're not going to be able to get the club back down into position correctly. So again, when we look at the face, when we look at the face, um, the pressure mat, we're going to be up and actually the, the transition of the weight to the left side starts before I actually complete my backswing. That's a real huge misnomer that people don't get, is we've got to start transitioning to the left side before the golf club gets to the top and finishes the backswing, okay? So that's gonna mean that the club's gonna look, it's gonna come up, we're gonna start the transition, and then you can see the transition, and then I start moving my golf swing, all right? If we don't get that, we're not gonna be able to hit a controlled shot straight down the, down the middle of the fairway. So I hope that this information was, in, uh, was, you know, you understood it. And if you got any questions, my information is below. Uh, reach out to me, uh, drop me an email, give me a ring, and we can talk some more about it. But again, I think the biggest thing we have to think about is control at the top, 
doesn't mean we yank from the top. We get it here and we let the club set. We step on our feet. When we step, we step, then the club drops, and then the knees go out of the way. We get into neutral joint alignment. Through here, we swing and rotate all the way through, and now you're getting the ball straight, okay? Again, if you got any questions, please let me know. I'll be delighted to have a ch uh, chance with, to talk with you. Until next time, have a great day.